When making a turn, you must fill in the blank your speed. A. Increase. B. Maintain. C. Vary. D. Reduce. D. Reduce. When turning, you should reduce to a speed that allows you to maintain control of your vehicle, stay in your lane, and react to unexpected situations. This road sign indicates a. The maximum safe speed for a residential area. b. The maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. c. The maximum safe speed for an expressway entrance. d. The maximum safe speed for a work zone. b. The maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. This advisory speed sign indicates the maximum safe speed for a highway exit, in this example, 30 miles per hour. This sign means A. Continue at your current speed. B. You must stop ahead. C. Speeding is not allowed. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. This sign indicates that there is a traffic signal ahead. If you need to slow down while driving on a slippery road, the first thing you should do is A. Firmly apply your brakes. B. Take your foot off the gas pedal. C. Apply your parking brake. D. Pump your brakes. B. Take your foot off the gas pedal. To slow down on a slippery road, you should first take your foot off the gas pedal. If you need to slow down even more, gently apply a slow, steady pressure to your brake pedal. Want to ace you DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Regulatory signs are usually fill in the blank and should always be obeyed. A. White. B. Blue. C. Green. D. Orange. A. White. Regulatory signs regulate the movement of traffic. They are usually white with black markings and must always be obeyed by motorists. If you miss your exit on an interstate expressway, A. Stop and make a U-turn. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. C. Roll down your window and ask the driver next to you for help. D. Back up on the highway. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. If you miss your turn or exit, do not back up or try to turn around on the highway. Go to the next exit and safely turn around. A regulatory sign containing a red circle with a slash through the middle indicates A. That drivers should come to a complete stop. B. That an action is forbidden. C. That some drivers should yield to other drivers. D. That drivers should drive under the speed limit. B. That an action is forbidden. Some regulatory signs prohibit certain actions. These signs are rectangular and white with red and black markings. A red circle and slash on top of a black symbol indicates that the specified action is forbidden. Accruing. Fill in the blank. Points on your license within a 36-month period will result in suspension of your license for one year. A. 24 or more. B. 21 to 23. C. 18 to 20. D. 15 to 17. A. 24 or more. 
Certain offenses committed while driving will count against the driver in Florida's system of suspending driver licenses. If a driver accrues 24 points or more within a 36-month period, their license will be suspended for one year. When a stop is required at an intersection and no markings appear to indicate a stop line or crosswalk, a driver A. is not required to stop. B. is required to slow down to make sure crossing traffic is clear. C. should stop only at a place where they can see at least 200 feet on either side, even if they have to enter the intersecting roadway. D should stop where they have a clear view of approaching traffic before they enter the intersecting roadway. This sign means A. No left turn. B. No stopping. C. No U-turn. D. Detour ahead. C. No U-turn. This sign indicates that U-turns are prohibited. You are borrowing an unfamiliar vehicle from a friend. You should a. not put too much thought into it because all vehicles are the same. b. hide from your friend that you are unfamiliar with the vehicle. c. disregard any obvious defects to avoid embarrassing your friend. d. take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the operation and location of all the vehicle's equipment. D. Take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the operation and location of all the vehicle's equipment. When driving an unfamiliar vehicle, take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the location and operation of the turn signals, hazard warning signals, headlights and beam selector, windshield wipers and washers, brakes, gear selector, and horn. Any defects should be corrected before the vehicle is driven. Worn or bald tires. A. Can make turning more difficult. B. Are likely to hydroplane. C. Can increase your stopping distance. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Worn or bald tires can increase your stopping distance and make turning more difficult. Tires without adequate tread also increase the risk of hydroplaning. Drowsy drivers? A. Should drink strong black coffee to stay awake. B. Can drive so poorly that they may appear to be drunk. C. Can stay alert by opening a window and turning up the radio. D. Are usually only older drivers. B. Can drive so poorly that they may appear to be drunk. Drowsiness can make people drive so poorly that they appear to be drunk. Opening a window, turning on the radio, or drinking coffee is not enough to make a drowsy driver alert to roadway hazards. When driving on slick roads, you should a. Take turns more slowly than usual. b. Change lanes quickly. c. Accelerate quickly. d. Brake hard. A. Take turns more slowly than usual. While it is always dangerous to drive too fast on slippery roads, this is especially true when driving in turns and curves. Be sure to approach them more slowly in slippery conditions than you would under normal circumstances. You are driving on a busy street and your vehicle's accelerator sticks open. You should. A. Blow your horn. B. Slam on your brakes. C. Turn on your four-way flashers. D. Turn off your ignition, taking care not to engage the steering wheel locking mechanism. This road sign means. A. You are about to enter a one-way street the wrong way. 
B. School crossing ahead. C. Do not drive in this lane. D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. This sign is used with a traffic signal to tell drivers that left turning traffic does not have the right of way and must instead wait for oncoming traffic to clear. On long trips, you can prevent drowsiness by A. Turning on your car radio. B. Slowing down. C. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. D. Moving your eyes from side to side as you drive. C. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. To prevent drowsiness on long trips, you should schedule regular stops. Give yourself time to rest and stretch, even if you are not feeling tired. You are driving on a divided multilane highway and see or hear the signal of an approaching emergency vehicle. You should a. Disregard the signal if there are other lanes available for the emergency vehicle. b. Stop as quickly as you can. C. Slow down, move your vehicle to provide a clear path for the emergency vehicle, and stop. D. Increase your speed to get out of the way of the emergency vehicle. C. Slow down, move your vehicle to provide a clear path for the emergency vehicle, and stop. If you hear the siren or see the flashing lights of an emergency vehicle, you must slow down, provide a clear path for the vehicle, and stop. Don't try to outdrive the emergency vehicle. Regulatory signs. A. Are placed in every location where there is a present danger. B. Indicate what a driver must or must not do. C. Are diamond shaped and yellow or green. D. May warn drivers that they are approaching a school zone. B. Indicate what a driver must or must not do. Regulatory signs are often rectangular and white with black markings and are used to indicate what things a driver must or must not do in a designated area. They may display speed limits, prohibit passing or turning, or clarify any other driving regulation. Which of the following about winter driving is not true? A. Winter is the most difficult driving season. B. Checking your vehicle's antifreeze and windshield washer fluid levels is especially important during the winter. C. Using cruise control in winter weather is a safe thing to do. D. It is best to use snow tires on your vehicle. C. Using cruise control in winter weather is a safe thing to do. You should not use cruise control on snow, in rain, in fog, or under similar hazardous conditions. Winter is the most difficult driving season and requires extra caution from drivers. It is important to consistently check your antifreeze and windshield washer fluid levels. Using snow tires can increase a vehicle's traction on the surface of slippery roads. If traffic signals at an intersection are not functioning due to a power outage, a. Park your vehicle as far off the road as possible and wait for power to be restored. b. Use hand signals to indicate your intentions to other drivers. c. Turn on your hazard lights and proceed through the intersection without stopping. d. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. D. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. If a traffic light at an intersection is not functioning due to a power outage, yield to other drivers in the same manner as you would when approaching a four-way stop. When it is your turn, proceed through the intersection with caution.
coming to a complete stop at an intersection, yielding to cross traffic, pedestrians, and then proceeding through the intersection when the way is clear corresponds with a. A solid red light. b. A flashing yellow light. c. A solid green light. d. A flashing red light. d. A flashing red light. A flashing red traffic light means the same thing as a stop sign. You must come to a complete stop, yield to cross traffic and pedestrians, and then proceed when the way is clear. What is a, no zone? A. A designated no passing zone. B. A one-way traffic area. C. The blind spot of a large vehicle. D. An area designated for motor vehicles. C. The blind spot of a large vehicle. No zones, are the large blind spots around trucks and other large vehicles. Drivers of smaller vehicles should avoid lingering in, no zones. When approaching a steady red traffic light, drivers should a. Drive through the intersection if there is no crossing traffic. b. Continue driving, as they have the right of way. c. Stop only if a police officer is nearby. d. Come to a complete stop. D. Come to a complete stop. A steady red traffic light indicates that drivers must come to a complete stop. Driving through a red light is against the law and is extremely dangerous. Drivers may turn right on a steady red light if there is no sign prohibiting a turn on red. If you are involved in a serious motor vehicle crash, a. Stop. B. Call the police. C. Determine if anyone is injured. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. If you are involved in a crash, move your vehicle off of the road and stop, if possible. If anyone is injured, call 911 and provide appropriate help. You must report the crash to law enforcement if there is an injury, a death, and or more than $1,000 in property damage, or more than $200 worth of damage made to non-vehicle government property, such as signs or guardrails. This road sign means A. All traffic must turn right. B. No right turn. C. All traffic must go straight ahead. D. A road joins from the right. D. A road joins from the right. This sign indicates that there is an intersection ahead. A road joins from the right. Traffic signals sometimes display arrows to control turns from specific lanes. A solid yellow arrow. A. Is never used as a traffic signal. B. Has the same meaning as a circular yellow traffic light. C. Means that drivers may turn in the direction indicated by the arrow. D. Tells drivers that a green arrow is about to be shown. B. Has the same meaning as a circular yellow traffic light. A solid yellow arrow has the same meaning as a yellow traffic light. When approaching a solid yellow arrow, you must reduce your speed and prepare for a red light. You are coming to a railroad crossing where the crossing signals are flashing. You should A. Stop and look for a train. B. Slow down and look for a train. C. Look for a train, then speed up. D. Do what the vehicle ahead of you does. A. Stop and look for a train. When approaching a railroad crossing, you must stop your vehicle no closer than 15 feet from the nearest rail if an installed electric or mechanical signal is giving warning of an approaching train. Be aware of other warning signs that may indicate an oncoming train, 
including seeing a lowered crossing gate or hearing an oncoming train. Your first response to reduced visibility should be a. Turning on your headlights. b. Reducing your speed. c. Turning on your windshield wipers. d. Looking for road edge markings to guide you. b. Reducing your speed. Reducing your speed should be your first response to decreased visibility and dangerous road conditions. If you stop at a railroad crossing with more than one track. A. Wait to proceed until you have a clear view of all tracks. B. Stop on the first railroad track and watch for another train. C. Go through as soon as the train passes. D. Go through when one of the tracks is free. A. Wait to proceed until you have a clear view of all tracks. If you are stopped at a railroad crossing with more than one track, do not start moving as soon as a train passes. Wait until you have a clear view down all tracks before you start across. Even where there is only one track, do not start across immediately after a train passes. Check again for another train that may be approaching. Anything that requires you to Fill in the blank. Could cause you to crash. A. Take your eyes off the road. B. Take your hands off the wheel. C. Take your attention away from the task of driving. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Anything that causes you to take your attention away from driving, take your eyes off the road, and or take your hands off the wheel as a distraction. When passing a vehicle stopped on the side of the road, drivers should A. Increase their speed. B. Vacate the lane closest to the stationary vehicle or slow down. C. Pull off the road behind the stationary vehicle. D. Move to the lane closest to the stationary vehicle. B. Vacate the lane closest to the stationary vehicle or slow down. The move over law protects law enforcement officers, emergency workers, tow truck drivers, sanitation workers, and utility workers stopped along roadways while performing their jobs. You must vacate the lane closest to the stationary emergency vehicle, tow truck, sanitation vehicle, or utility vehicle. If you cannot move over safely, you must slow down to a speed of 20 miles per hour below the posted speed limit. This road sign means A. Turn right after making a complete stop. B. Right turns are not permitted. C. Left turns are permitted. D. None of the above. B. Right turns are not permitted. Regulatory signs display laws that drivers must always obey. Right turns are not permitted where this sign is present. Driving too slowly is A. Against the law. B. A safe option for drivers who are not confident. C. The responsibility of tired drivers. D. Recommended by most law officers. A. Against the law. Driving too slowly is against Florida law. You must not drive so slowly that you block or delay traffic moving at normal, safe speeds. You should drive with the flow of traffic, within the speed limit. If you pass a school bus that is stopped to drop off or pick up children, you will A. Be fined at least $165. B. Be fined less than $100. C. Not be fined, but your license will be suspended. D. Face no legal consequences. A. Be fined at least $165.
Drivers must come to a complete stop when approaching a school bus that is stopped with its lights flashing. Failure to stop until the lights stop flashing will result in a fine of at least $165. Passing a bus on the side where its door is located will result in a fine of at least $265. Additional penalties will apply. <laughs> Leaving the scene of a crash is A. Encouraged. B. The most efficient way to handle an accident. C. Not recommended, but is acceptable. D. Against the law. D. Against the law. It is against the law to leave the scene of a crash that causes property damage, injury, or death. Drivers involved in such an accident are required to provide their information and supply aid. A steady yellow light at an intersection means A. Go. B. Yield to other cars. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. D. Stop. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. A steady yellow light indicates that a steady red light will soon appear. If you are driving toward an intersection and a yellow light appears, slow down and prepare to stop. If you are already within the intersection or cannot stop safely before entering the intersection, continue through carefully. What is the first thing affected by alcohol consumption? A. Reaction time. B. Judgment. C. Slurred speech. D. Vision. B. Judgment. Alcohol reduces all of the important skills necessary to drive safely, such as judgment, reaction time, vision, and concentration. Alcohol is absorbed into the lining of the stomach and then passes directly into the bloodstream and reaches your brain within minutes after consumption. A person's judgment is the first thing affected after drinking an alcoholic beverage. Certain highway signs contain information about hazardous conditions. Such signs are known as A. Regulatory signs. B. Warning signs. C. Information signs. D. Guide signs. B. Warning signs. Warning signs advise drivers of potentially hazardous conditions. For your own safety, obey warning signs. Disregarding the information provided by a warning sign may result in an accident due to your negligence. Curbs painted yellow indicate A. Designated free parking areas B. Paid parking areas C. No parking zones D. Optional parking areas This sign means A. Slow down if an emergency vehicle is approaching. B. Look both ways as you cross the intersection. C. Always come to a full stop at the intersection. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. Decrease your speed as you approach an intersection with a yield sign. Prepare to stop and yield the right of way to vehicles and pedestrians in the intersection or crossroad. You must come to a full stop at a yield sign if traffic conditions require it. You are driving when it begins to rain. You should A. Drive faster than surrounding traffic. B. Drive at the maximum posted speed limit. C. Slow down. D. Drive closely behind the vehicle in front of you. C. Slow down. When heavy rain reduces visibility, reduce your speed. Turn on your headlights so other drivers can see your vehicle. If the rain is so heavy that you are unable to see clearly, drive onto the shoulder and stop until the rain lets up.
This sign means A. Emergency vehicles ahead. B. Uncontrolled intersection ahead. C. Four way stop ahead. D. Traffic signal ahead. D. Traffic signal ahead. This sign warns that a traffic signal is ahead. On a two lane street, your vehicle is being followed by a fire engine that is not using its emergency signals. You should A. Continue to drive in a normal manner. B. Stop as quickly as you can. C. Speed up to get out of its way. D. Slow down, move as far to the right as possible, and stop. A. Continue to drive in a normal manner. If you are being followed by an emergency vehicle that is not using its siren or flashing lights, you do not need to clear a path. Continue driving in a normal manner. You are driving in the left lane and want to move into the right lane. You should A. Check your mirrors, signal, and look over your left shoulder for other vehicles before changing lanes. B. Check your mirrors, signal, and look over your right shoulder for other vehicles before changing lanes. C. Check your mirrors, signal, and look over both shoulders for other vehicles before changing lanes. D. Check your mirrors, signal, and change lanes. B. Check your mirrors, signal, and look over your right shoulder for other vehicles before changing lanes. When changing lanes, you should check your vehicle's blind spots by looking over your shoulder in the direction that you want to move. Always check your mirrors and turn on your directional signal before beginning a lane change. This green arrow on a lane use control signal means A. You may use this lane. B. No traffic is allowed in this lane. C. You have the right of way. D. You must merge into this lane. A. You may use this lane. A steady downward green arrow over a traffic lane means you may use the lane indicated. This sign is used to warn drivers about A. Upcoming intersections. B. Road construction. C. An upcoming curve in the road. D. Changes in traffic lanes. C. An upcoming curve in the road. This sign indicates that the road ahead curves to the right. A yellow light that flashes on and off means A. Stop and look for other vehicles, then go if there is no traffic. B. Stop and wait for a green light. C. Speed up to clear the intersection quickly. D. Slow down and proceed with caution. D. Slow down and proceed with caution. A flashing yellow traffic light means drivers should slow down and proceed with caution. At a four-way stop. A. The driver to arrive first has the right of way. B. The driver to arrive last has the right of way. C. One driver should continue driving without stopping. D. One driver should wave the other drivers ahead. A. The driver to arrive first has the right of way. At four way stops, traffic from all four directions must stop. The first vehicle to reach the intersection should move forward first. If two vehicles reach the intersection at the same time, the driver on the left yields to the driver on the right. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is traveling in the area where you are driving, you should A. Speed up to avoid the emergency vehicle. B. Stop your vehicle immediately and prevent them from passing. C. Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel.
D. Signal to the emergency vehicle when it is clear for them to pass you. C. Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is traveling in the area where you are driving, you must make every effort to give them a clear path of travel. If it is safe to do so, pull your vehicle to the side of the road to give the emergency vehicle an open pathway.